Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create circular column with base plate in Tecla structures with example, just like this. Now this PDF example is available in my website. Please go to my website. I will provide this link in the description below of this video. Please go through it and come here and scroll it down. You can see now we have PDF example at here. Practice this example along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla structures with Indian enrollment. Now we're going to create circular pipe. So click on this column and click on here to place the column. Right click on most interrupt. You can see currently we have shaded view to get render view. Use the shortcut control 4. By default we have I section but we required circular pipe in our example. You can see in our example we have pipe with 300 diameter just like this so double click on this column to edit now we're going to change column profile here by default we have ismb 400 so click on here profile catalog minimize it now we require circular hello section click on this plus symbol and select this pipe and we have outer dia 300 and thickness 8 millimeter so click on apply ok click on modify to see the result you can see now we have pipe profile like this you can see pipe 300 by 8 thickness like this now coming to column height in our example we have top level 3000 and bottom level 0 so scroll it down and select the top level 3000 here type here 3000 and bottom level 0 now click on modify to see the result you can see now this pipe should be 3000 millimeter length now close this window here click on space right click on mouse redraw view okay now we're going to create circular base plate at the bottom of this column so go to application components by using the shortcut control f in search bar type circular base plate you can see now we have circular base plate like this now select this component and pick the main part as a column and pick the position at gradient section point to create base plate like this now close the window here right click mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse do it view use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point here and you can rotate like this okay by default we have circular base plate like this now we're going to edit this base plate according to our example dimensions like this okay to edit this base plate you need to double click on it uh, currently this base plate is shaded view to get render view use a shortcut shift to 4 for components and uh, control 4 for objects ok now I'm going to edit this base plate so double click on this base plate you will get this window like this now in our example we have stiffener width and height here you can see now we have stiffener the length here 35 so we need to enter here 35 millimeter click on modify you can see now this length should be 35 millimeter similarly we have 35 at the top this length stiffener length so enter here 35 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have this length should be 35 millimeter now coming to parts tab click on parts tab in parts you can control th this base plate thickness you can see in our example we have 20 millimeter thickness so enter here 20 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see now this base plate thickness should be 20 millimeter similarly you can change the this stiffener thickness here tube stiffener in our example we have stiffener thickness 8 millimeter so we need to enter here 8 and I, height we have 200 millimeter so enter here height 200 and similarly we have the width 125 millimeter so we need to enter here 125 now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have this width 125 millimeter and height 200 and thickness 8 millimeter similarly we have this base plate diameter in our example 550 millimeter so enter here the diameter of this base plate 550 millimeter now click on modify to see the result you can see now this base plate should be 550 millimeter now we need to enter anchor rod information 
so click on this anchor rods tab in anchors you can change the rod size in our example we have the anchor rod size here 20 millimeters so click on here profile catalog and select this circular sections and select this rod and enter here 20 now click on apply ok similarly we're going to enter nut profile click on here scroll it down and select this user defined fixed and select this nut and we need to select this nut m20 now click on apply ok uh, to display the anchors in the model we need to select base plate with anchor rod now click on modify to see the result you can see now we have anchor rod like this by default we have straight anchor rod but we record l band anchor so click on here and select this l band now click on modify you will get like this now coming to l band anchor length we have 500 millimeter by default we have 500 so no need to change we have projection 50 millimeter okay now we need to enter here thread length 100 millimeter as per standards click on modify you'll get like this now coming to number of anchors you can change the number of anchors you can see in the top view by default we have number of anchor rods here 336 total 6 so in our example we have number of anchor rods 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we need to enter eight number of anchors so click on this bolts tab in bolts you can control the tolerance here the clearance between anchor rod and hole so let's take three millimeter now click on modify now now we're going to change the number of anchor rods here so enter here in our example we have eight so number of bolts we have eight and click on modify to see the result you can see now we have number of anchors 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now coming to spacing we have diagonal spacing between the two anchor rods here 450 millimeters so we need to enter here 450 now click on modify to see the result there you can see now this diagonal spacing should be 450 millimeter okay now click on modify apply okay now click on space right click on most view you can see now we have base plate like this okay now we're going to measure this dimensions according to this design information so before that we need to create views so click on grid right click on mouse create views along grid lines now enter here elevation on grid now copy it and paste here now click on create and then click on ok ok to open view list you can use a shortcut ctrl i now select this plan at zero and click on here you will get plan view like this similarly we need to take elevation view along grid one so click on window and set this view list and select this elevation on grid one and click on this arrow to open now close it in our example we have the total column length of 3000 from top of column to bottom of this base plate so now go to measure this dimension so click on edit and select this measure and select the vertical distance and pick the first point at here and zoom it here pick the second point at the bottom of this base plate and click on here to place the dimension you can see now we have 3000 according to this dimension okay now coming to this dimension now we're going to measure this dimension so zoom it here now we have base plate thickness 20 millimeters so zoom it and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension now we have 20 millimeter you can see 20 millimeter then i'm going to check the total length of the stiffener 200 millimeters so pick the first point here and pick the second point by using the left mouse key and click on here to place the dimension we have, we have 200 millimeter like this now we're going to check the 35 millimeter here so pick the first point and second point and place it here 35 similarly we need to check in the horizontal direction so we need to select measure and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point and you need to pick the second point and place it here now we have 34.8 it means approximately 35 millimeter click on escape now going to measure this projection and total length of this anchor so click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here 
and pick the second point and place it here. Now we have projection 50 millimeter and pick the first point and pick the second point at the bottom of this anchor and place it here. Now we have 500 millimeter total length. You can now want to check the total diameter of this base plate 550 millimeter. So we need to go to the top view. So select this plan at zero and zoom it here. Click on here and select this horizontal distance and pick the first point at this location and pick the second point at this location and use the left mouse key to click on here. You can see now we have total base plate length 500 diameter. Now coming to this diagonal spacing 450 millimeter we need to measure. So click on here and select this distance to measure diagonal spacing. So pick the first point here and pick the second point and place it here to place the dimension. You can see now we have total distance 450 millimeter diagonal spacing between the two anchors. Okay. Now right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view to arrange checking dimensions. Click on window and select this elevation view and click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. Now click on window and select this 3D view. Okay, you will get like this. Okay, that's it about how to create circular column with a base plate in Tecla structures with a given example like this. If you like this video, please like it and share it. If you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla structure related videos, please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tackle structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when upload a new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you